Hi everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this evening update. I hope you've been enjoying your Wednesday. So we're going to be taking a look at, of course, what is happening across the Atlantic. Models are trending towards a tropical storm entering the Caribbean, which means that there would be a decent chance of impacts across some of the eastern islands. We'll be looking at the latest, noting the fact that we're still some time out. So uh, there are bound to be some changes between now and next week. However, we want to take a look at what is happening and uh, the latest for Sean as well. So Tropical Storm Sean, it is struggling, but uh, it'll try to hold together for the next couple of days. Now, before I delve into details, I just posted a video recently on my next channel, Weather Extras, uh, talking about the solar eclipse. And I actually broke down what the eclipse will be like at maximum for your island. So I spoke about every island in the Caribbean. So you can go ahead and check out that video and even broke broaden your knowledge on the topic because uh, it is quite detailed so you can go ahead and check it out the link is in the pinned comment down below so let's get straight into it and we're first beginning with the gulf so there is what is left with previously known or uh, associated with what was previously known as 93l there we can see all these showers thunderstorms in the gulf of mexico all that activity already affecting some areas with uh, that risk of tornadic activity even that heavy rainfall and some gusty winds as well so uh, please listen to your local officials guys so this has not developed into a tropical cyclone but nonetheless there will be those impacts which i spoke about earlier mostly in terms of that heavy rainfall which may be unleashed across some areas which may have begun already and now we want to go ahead and take a look off the african coast where we've got sean so sean is not looking too good this evening conditions are not highly conducive right now exactly struggling with some of that shear and there's that tropical wave behind it which is uh, given that development chance so we could see something but uh, potentially become of it as we're going to be headed into next week models are not showing imminent formation but they are showing it developing as it approaches the caribbean and as i said it could potentially bring impacts but there is no guarantee however there is a solid westward trend with this we'll go on to what the national hurricane center is showing but we want to look at some other areas first here we are across parts of northern south america the south caribbean and uh, in sections of central america there we can see some thunderstorm activity popping up across some areas it is pretty hot and dry as always over in the Guyanas with not much activity. As I showed you guys, the Climate Prediction Center's updated map, uh, they are expecting above average temperatures for parts of uh, South America, which includes the Guyanas. So unfortunately, that's going to be a trend. A couple of scattered showers at the most moving through the Lesser Antilles that's head further up north. We can see that much is not going on for uh, the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, Hispaniola, Jamaica, sections of Cuba, the Turks and Caicos Islands, the Bahamas even across some spots in Central America as well. A little bit of activity nearby the Cayman Islands, maybe some overcast conditions and occasional showers. Nothing crazy, some thunderstorms for parts of Western Cuba, even developing in Eastern Cuba as well. But uh, going up into Florida, again, there's that concentrated area of all that moisture, which is going to be producing all that rainfall activity as we head through the rest of today and even into tomorrow as well. And eventually areas such as Bermuda could experience increased rainfall activity activity and those gusty winds as a result of the system passing through. Now, going on to the latest from the NHC, let's talk about Sean first. Here we have the cone forecast for the storm. It is sustaining those winds at 40 miles per hour and is expected to sustain tropical storm status or maintain that status rather as we head to this weekend. But heading to early next week, it may be downgraded to a tropical depression as that wind shear increases, even some dry air as well. That could pose a problem for the system. And then by Monday, it may become post-tropical. So we see more of a westward trend here in the latter part off the forecast track and GFS maintains that trend with the system potentially moving into the northern Caribbean islands as an open trough and if it has enough activity it could bring an increase in rainfall and uh, there is no guarantee of that though so we definitely have to wait and see but that remains a possibility and we're seeing that being reflected on the National Hurricane Center's graphic. 
All right, and now going on to newly designated Invest 94L. So that's our tropical wave of Africa to the southeast of the Cabo Verde Islands. Here we can see this shaded area, which would trend the system toward the west. As I said, models are expecting that and showing that it could develop on approach to the Caribbean. So that is a pretty decent possibility right now, especially with that high pressure area out in the Atlantic becoming more dominant. So uh, we'll have to wait and see, but that is the trend right now. And even looking at some um, model data as it relates to the uh, track guidance, we can see that being reflected as well. None of these are deflecting now to see. They're all showing that westward track of the system for the next couple of days, maybe the next five or so days. And then as it relates to the intensity, we can see that most of these models are expecting that it may become a tropical storm within around uh, four days or so. We'll have to wait and see. A couple of models want to take the system up to hurricane status, which wouldn't be impossible because remember the waters are very very warm out there matter of fact we're going to be looking at the latest graphics for those in a moment but we want to go ahead and take a look at what the operational models are showing beginning with the gfs so this is the 12z run for all the models and this is as we head out to next wednesday the 18th of the month and so here we can see all that increase in moisture in the west caribbean so gfs at one point earlier some days ago or so it was expecting that we may see some development in the west caribbean Caribbean. And uh, if you watched last evening's update, I actually showed where the Climate Prediction Center is highlighting the West Caribbean uh, for potentially seeing something in the latter part of October. So we want to watch for that. But there is whatever is left off Sean making its way through the islands and then that tropical wave approach. And we're not seeing anything organized here. When we see more of those black lines, that is indicating more of a defined system. For example, this is as we head to Sunday the 22nd, head into the final week or so of October. And here we can see that uh, there is likely maybe a tropical storm making its way into the Caribbean. Then heading on to the Euro model. So this is as we head to Saturday of this week. What is left of Sean moving out and that tropical wave. Now take a look at this. This is as we head to next Friday. So just over a week from now, we can see that the Euro is expecting that maybe a tropical storm will be approaching the Caribbean. This is as we head to Saturday of next week. There we see all that activity across the Southeast US as well. And uh, that tropical storm over over in the Eastern Caribbean now. We see a pressure of around 1,006 millibars, maybe tropical depression or tropical storm. We'll definitely have to wait and see for that. Canadian model also showing something pretty similar to that. Whatever is left off Sean moving out by Sunday, that tropical wave making its way west, continuing west, seeing all that increase in moisture in the Caribbean as what the model has been quite consistent about. It has been showing development for some time now. And then eventually as we head to Friday of next week, we see it showing something trying to form just off the Yucatan right there and then that tropical storm approaching the Caribbean islands, strengthening as it makes its way in. And again, that is not something impossible once conditions are conducive. We know the waters are very warm, but other conditions such as uh, the dry air and, and uh, increased wind shear, those help to inhibit the development. So if they're on more of the favorable side, then of course we will see something develop and try to strengthen. Icon, the final model we're taking a look at going to the end of it as we head to Thursday, the 19th of the month. There we can see that increase in moisture in the Caribbean and that tropical storm approaching. Uh, Icon is showing development of it as a tropical storm a bit further out compared to other models, but only time will tell, guys. So quite a bit of time to keep an eye on the system. But again, there is a westward trend. As I was saying earlier, it's very warm. As we look at the sea surface temperature map, here we can see some of these shades of pinks in the Caribbean, especially the Western Caribbean, 31 degrees, and across some other areas, 30, 29. So these waters are very conducive and above average. This is an anomaly map. It shows how much the temperature varies from what is typical. So simple to understand here. Once we see more of those darker red shades going to that darker and darker shade of red, the temperature is much more above average. White means that it's pretty much normal and blue means below normal. And we know that it has been very hot, even for the sea surface temperatures, we can see that it is very hot as well. Not only hot, but there are also deep warm waters there. So all that energy just sitting around waiting to feel one of these low pressure areas. So again, we'll have to watch for those systems, but I'm here to keep you posted as per usual. So that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this evening update, highlighting that westward trend which models have been showing for some time now. And uh, with even with Sean as well, we could see whatever is left of it making a very close approach to the 
they care. And of course, that's not a guarantee, but we'll have to keep an eye on the systems. And of course, stay tuned for my updates. And that is pretty much it for now. So I hope you found this video to be quite informative. But if you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you once I can. And remember to always be weatherwise.